Edesa, about an hour northwest of Thessaloniki, a small city with a population of about 25,000 people. One cool thing that there is to see here is the waterfalls. It's actually known as the City of Waters, and it's because there are a number of waterfalls that run from canals and streams that run right through the town. So let's go check out the waterfalls that give this town its nickname. That is the City of Waters. There is usually a waterfall right there behind me, but for some reason today, it's down to just a trickle, even though some of the other smaller streams that come through this area, some of which you can kind of hear in the background, are flowing just as well as you would expect. But this one that's usually the big waterfall, for some reason is just down to a trickle, which is kind of surprising because it is the rainy season now in Greece, and there has been plenty of rain and snow, even in the mountains that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it's not flowing a lot more. You would expect it to be down to a trickle in the summertime when it's hot and dry, but uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, maybe, that, maybe that's just our luck. But uh, if you come here to Edessa, to the, the famous waterfall, this is where it's supposed to be whenever it's flowing. I'm not sure if, if there's some kind of specific reason that it's not flowing today. Uh, this is where you can find it and you can go and walk behind it uh, whenever, whenever it's coming down. So you can actually walk down here and go and stand behind what is normally a waterfall there. And I am in complete shock that it looks like this and, and that it's not, it's not flowing with lots of water. I mean, there really usually is a waterfall here. I promise. I'm not lying to you guys. <laughs> there is, if you get a little bit closer, we can see there is a little trickle going on right here. You can see there is a little trickle going on that usually just flows down out into here. <laughs> but yeah. The other smaller streams seem to be running just fine so I don't know. I'd have to look up to see if maybe they diverted the water. I mean I can't imagine it's due to lack of precipitation because we've had plenty of rain lately in Greece in general especially in northern Greece here. Uh, it is the rainy season now so I don't know. I don't know. But hey, at least I guess I guess there's a little bit of water flowing. I guess it's better than nothing. You can even see how they have lights here to light up the water whenever it is falling, but it is not falling today. Little, little bit of a trickle right here and actually just above me in here. So when you walk in here, you have these little formations here, which is kind of 
I mean, you know, you look at it and you're like, okay, you know, I hope that that's pretty sturdy. <laughs> it's stronger than it looks, but you know, some, there's some water that kind of, even, even when there's not really a waterfall today, some water dripping down from here. This is where you can walk behind the waterfall, completely open and free. You don't have to pay anything to come to this spot right here. So um, if you come and visit Edessa, definitely come and check it out. Maybe your luck will be better than mine and there will actually be a waterfall when you visit. But if not, there's still other streams and little smaller waterfalls around. There's a reason they call this the city of waters because there's a lot of streams and waterfalls in this area right here, right next to the actual town itself. I mean, I literally just walked over here about seven, eight minutes from the literal, from the actual center of town, just about seven, eight minute walk. So not, not that far at all. Apparently, the waterfalls here that Edessa is famous for are not as old as the city itself. The city itself, of course, goes way back to ancient Macedonia, but uh, the waterfalls here and the sort of geological formations that have resulted in these waterfalls apparently have only been around since the 14th century AD. And it was apparently the result of a very big earthquake that happened in the area that caused this sort of geological formation that resulted in these waterfalls. Kind of an interesting thing about Edessa that not only is it a city that has ancient history, but that the thing that it's most famous for today isn't really itself so ancient, especially considering that usually things that are geological tend to predate humanity in general. But this is, at least as far as I've read, this phenomenon with the waterfalls here in Edessa is uh, fairly recent, at least in geological terms. Definitely an interesting place to come and see. I definitely recommend if you're traveling through northern Greece and want to see something a little bit different, a little bit unique, that, that really can be enjoyed any time of the year. Definitely come and see the waterfalls here in Edessa. And of course, 20 minutes north of here, you also have the bath areas in Pozar. That is it from here in Edessa. Short, simple video because this is the main thing to see here, the waterfalls. So we're gonna leave it at that, but make sure you've subscribed to Global Nico if you haven't done so already, so that you can stay tuned for the next video. Until then, take care and travel better.